Where is your comfort zone and what do you do to break free of living in it? Well, historically as a younger person, my comfort zone was to go home on Friday night and get some Taco Bell and lay on the couch and watch movies. <laughs> I loved laying around. I mean, there was nothing like it. I did laying around better than almost anybody. Uh, and in fact, when I was, for a, for a long time throughout my 20s and early 30s, I spent my comfort zone in a huge palatial plush apartment far away from anything, not in really a neighborhood that was any place I'd want to walk around. It just wasn't very appealing. Um, well, now I live near downtown. I live in a tiny little space, uh, and I sort of have forced myself, again, kind of almost tricked myself like I do with uh, my organizational skills. I've tricked myself into now I'm in this tiny space, it's not very appealing to stay into inside of, but the outside is very appealing. So I get out, I walk around, you know, if somebody says, hey, we're having a Domino's night, or we're going to see an art show, or uh, we're going on a bike ride to go uh, uh, visit really unique architectural structures, I say yes, that's what I do. I try to say yes to those things more and more. If I find myself laying on the couch and I think, boy, you know, I could go swimming in Barton Springs and go laying out in the sun and, and, and read a book rather than lay here on the couch and, you know, dream about Taco Bell, uh, I just sit right up and do it. And I've, luckily, I've put myself in a position that I can do that. So uh, it's easy to sit in that comfort zone, but it's important to me to get out of the comfort zone. 